There we go. Hooked up finally, been working for them for a while. Had to up our line size a little bit. Well, bloat size. This one's gonna give me a run for my money. That's a big fish. Maybe this is the one that stole your bag. It might be, very close. We'll have to check his teeth. Ooh, Big nice one. fish. Not fighting very hard, but tying a chartreuse bag. Nice fish. Come here, buddy. Fish number one. Beautiful, fresh buck. A little bit bigger than your average steelhead right now on Lake Erie Tribs. This year's been a really good run of really big silver fish. Probably put this one in that like seven to eight pound range. Right. Second one. Greg, get up here. I let you have the hole. I come back first cast. I catch one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so essentially what we're doing here is we're fishing the tail out of a big long pool up here above us. We have some quicker water with the hard slate edge. Then the tail here, what happens is it widens up right at my 12 o'clock. Then you see some boulder fields here about one to two, maybe even three o'clock. The way the current runs here, it makes these fish funnel on the inside of these rocks. Not saying there aren't any that live in the rocks, there are just a lot of snags. So we try to avoid the snags the best that we can, but the way we're fishing the run is we're throwing it out here, right about there, and we're running it down into this tail. But today we have something that's kind of adverse against us. All weekend we had a lot of clouds, some precipitation, and today we got bright sunny sky so it's making our bite a little bit slower and that's due to like when you the wake up effect when you wake up in the morning and you open your window blinds when it's been pitch black in your room it's the same thing for these fish it's like blinding them and they have to adjust and we have rising water temps rising uh, weather warmer temps coming this afternoon so i think if we just continue to grind it out here we're going to get some bites as the day warms up hooked up in New York. <laughs> A little technique challenge. But we figured it out. Just walk right backwards and pull right up on the back. Keep your rod up. Yeah, there you go. Got him, baby. Right here. Look, this one. he's about to come up. Oh, that's a good fish. There we go. Don't there roll against go. the drag, let yeah. him run. He's getting tired now. Yep. Just use the rod. There you go. Keep reeling. Reel down. Don't. Yep. And then pop. Get his head up. Get his head up. So when he charges at you, yeah, just like that. Now lift up on the rod. Oof. That's a big fish, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. All right, so what we have here is a beautiful Western New York winter steelhead out of Lake Erie. About an average to slightly above average hen. Um, it's the middle of December as we're out here fishing today and it's cold. In the last few years, we've seen the average size of fish actually go up quite well here in western new york and on lake erie in general and that's due to there being an expanded bait fish population due to a lot of warm winters it's really helping our fishery we're putting out some really beautiful lake erie great lake steelhead all right guys well we're out here on the erie tribs in western new york fishing around today i just want to go through my setup with you real quick i'm running a center pin here a kingpin r2 with a three to six cts uh, infinity float rod 13 foot I like a 12 to 13 foot rod. It works really great on almost every size of stream we have here in Western New York, all the way through Steelhead Alley. Today, specifically, because the water's starting to get down a little bit lower, I'm running a five gram float with a tapered shot pattern. So you wanna make sure you have your shot tapered out 
to the specific size of gram weight of your float. So bigger to smaller to make sure it matches up to the gram size. We're running six or five pound test liter to a micro swivel here down below our last shot, all the way to size eight or 10. This is a 10 Potsky fire hook. And then to top off our rig here, we grab our eggs, which I have Baroxo fired cured up brown trout eggs. And we're gonna use this new lime color. It's been working really good in the clear water conditions. And just having an assorted amount of colors here, cause you never know exactly what they're gonna bite. But lime, yellow, we got some new Atlas Mike's purple in here. Um, they're all gonna work really well for you depending on the condition in the day. So make sure you have an assortment of egg sacs tied up and make sure they're always cured in Baroxo fire if you are gonna run your own eggs. <sighs> Man, what a grind today. Got a nice little chroma on here. A uh, little white bag, I believe it was. Some brown trout eggs. And it's been an absolute grind to get some bites. Ran it by that boulder right over there and got this pretty little girl. So we'll get Oh her. yeah, chrome as can be. Not big, but we'll take it. I'm just gonna pull it right out of the deep. Ooh. All right, so we've been fishing out here since about eight o'clock this morning really working hard for our bites uh running some broxo fire eggs trout and salmon caught them on just about every single netting material i think we've got pink we've got salmon we've had white uh what was another color shark truce has been a big player today and then this one just came on white and lime and lime oh yeah i forgot we got a good one on lime as well so every fish has been dime bright fresh from the lake we're only about an eighth of a mile up so it's been a really really tough enduring day. Today's episode of Potsky Outdoors comes to you from Western New York where we're fishing Great Lake tributaries with guide Andy Full of Full Fishing Guide Service. Now we're walking the bank in search of steelhead. Now anybody that knows the greater Western New York area knows that during steelhead season weather is unpredictable. I guess that's just something you deal with here. Now today we're forced to deal with winds in excess of 55 miles an hour. This creek that we found today was the only place over almost a hundred mile stretch that we could go because it was covered and you know a little bit sheltered by the wind and we're fortunate we were able to go here now the bite did not turn out the way that we thought we thought we would come up here clean out a dozen fish go to lunch come back well it took us almost from eight to five other than a quick stop at tim horton's for us to go and catch about eight fish now i think four or five of those were adults the other ones were smaller steelhead but it just shows that not everybody has a good day every time. Now, we still consider this to be a good day because we talked to so many other people that were in this area today that said, hey, we only caught two fish all day. Everybody but one guy was honest with us. We saw one guy that said he caught 15 or more in about an hour. I don't know if he did, but if he did, he was doing something way better than we were. Now, all of our fish today came on Baraxo fired cured egg sacs. Now, Mr. Full here used, I believe, brown trout eggs he had previously, he cured them in Baraxafire, and we had to use several different colors of Atlas Mike spawn netting to be able to get bit. I mean, we switched back and forth. We caught fish on white, we caught fish on orange, we caught fish on chartreuse, we caught fish on lime, and I'm sure we used other colors. They would not key in on anything. It just shows you when you're coming to Western New York, make sure to mix up your offerings, work hard, and on any given day, you too could catch steelhead here in these well-known tributaries. Potsky products are available at sporting goods stores near you. If you can't find the specific color, size that you want, make sure to go to potski.com. And as a thank you for watching Potski Outdoors, we're going to show you a coupon code to be used for 10% off your next order.